Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about some common CSS measurement units. As you start using uh, CSS to set rules for HTML, you will start setting font sizes, width of your containers, and many more. Uh, you will uh, need some basic knowledge about measuring units uh, used in CSS in order to size things correctly. So I'm going to show you the three units that I use the most. Okay. Let's open up our CSS folder and the CSS.html and let's open it with top style. And so as you can see here I have the HTML structure with the head tag and then I have the style set inside the head tag. This is where you're supposed to set the styles. Okay. Uh, of course you can set it inside the body, but um, normal standard you, you're supposed to set it here inside the head tag. Okay. And we have three classes. First one is PIX class, second is EM class, third is PER class. Okay. Uh, these names I just made up. And uh, I have three divs that contains some text inside them. Okay. And a first div I have PIX class assigned to it. Second div I have EM class assigned to it. The third one has PER class assigned to it. So um, only the, the text and the container uh, gets affected by this PIX class. Only this part gets affected by the PIX class. And only this part that I highlighted gets affected by EM class and same here for per class. Okay, So let's look at our PIX class. Uh, PIX class has a font size of 12 pixel and the width of the div is set to 200 pixels Okay, and then the height of the div is set to 150 pixels and then uh, just to show the width and height I set the border of the div to one pixel width and uh, it's supposed to be solid and the border is black. Okay. Then for the EM class I set font size to 2 EM okay. and for per uh, standing for percent uh, I set the font size to 200 percent. So as you can see the PIX class I want to illustrate the pixel okay. Uh, and pixel is just the little dots across, going across and going from top to bottom um, that composes your viewing screen. Okay, Each little dot, light dot on your screen is one pixel. Okay, So uh, that's a pixel. EM is like a relative class, a relative sizing unit that's based on your parent element. Uh, what I mean by this is if you have a div inside a body, the body tag is div tag's parent. Okay? And so the body tag's parent is the HTML tag because it body tag sits inside the HTML tag. Okay? So uh, EM is uh, is a unit that's based on your parents um, default unit okay or or what your uh, parents property was set to okay and so it's a relative unit uh, same as the percent uh, I'll show you in a little bit uh, when we get to the uh, web page let's minimize this and let's double click on the file to have it bring it up in Firefox. As you can see, uh, I have the first div that has the 300 pixels wide and 100 pix 150 pixels tall with the border of one pixel uh, solid black, right? And then the text inside has pixel font size. So as you can see, this is the 12 pixel font, okay? And you can see that this is the EM font size. This is 2 EM. Okay. And you can look at this percentage font size. This is the third div. And uh, 
you can tell that these the EM font size and the percentage font size they look the same so uh, you can say that um, EM is also like a relative um, unit and it acts like 200% in this case, right? 2 EM is more like 200% too in this case, okay? So uh, that is units in uh, CSS, okay? We have pixels, we have EM, and we have percentage. And um, I use what you're comfortable with. For me, I've been using Pixel for a long time, so I just stick with using Pixels. It gets the job done. Okay. So uh, which one to use? Just it's a lot of trial and error. Find the one that fits your page, and that should be the one. Okay. So uh, that's it for this screencast. Thank you.